Hello everyone, welcome to Ali Sharaki and Kian Money and Investing Talk uh, podcast. Today Kian has got very high temperature, but still he said he's going to be here and he's going to do the podcast with me. That is what you call determination. A true entrepreneur. It doesn't matter how he feels, still he's going to be fighting, right? So well done Kian, right? But then after that, go sleep a little bit. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the market risks and the risk management. What do you know about the market risk and the risk management, Ken? Well, Because uh, I know you are doing it exactly in your game as well. I didn't know you selling your, your stuff on there and buying and doing all stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, that's the case. Yeah, it's literally, literally like your stock market. So tell me, what do you do? Well, one of the things you want, well, first I want to explain about the risk and now I'll get into about my game. Risk is what risk is is a 50 50 chance of winning or losing something. Mm. You have to 50 percent chance of winning and a 50 percent 50 percent chance of losing. And what we want to do is increase the chances of you winning. For example, in my game, and uh, what I do in my game is for a couple of days and maybe a couple of weeks or months, I have to practice, practice, practice. And then when it comes to the day where the tournament is, then I play and then I have a chance, higher chance of winning because I practice. Exactly. So by you entering a tournament, you enter in a risk area, isn't it? Because you have a risk of losing or you have a risk of winning. But before that, you prepare yourself, right? Which makes me have a higher chance of winning. Exactly. That, you know, you do a lot of practice. You do a lot of, uh, you know, the training with that uh, games yeah. to make sure you know all, you know how to, basically you make sure you know the rule of the game before you enter the game. Is that right? Yeah. And that's even like life um, for business as well. You have Same to thing. you have to keep learning and learning and learning to update all your stuff because if you're not updating your stuff, then you have less chances of getting more customers. You are much more wiser when you have temperature, Kian. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well done. That's exactly how it is. You know, any business, any business you want to open, you want to open a cafe shop, you are taking a risk. By opening a cafe shop, you are taking a risk, right? Well, how can you increase your risk of uh, being profitable on that cafe shop? Go and do the training, learn how to run a cafe shop, learn how to make the cafe and everything, or have people who they know how to make it like close to you. Uh, even though, you know, if you want to open a cafe shop, you better know how to do everything because when you're hiring people, you need to train these people. And, um, you know, so at least, you know, you can cover any of these things if uh, nobody was there to cover your, your, your shift, you know, or you have to have contingency plans in place. Otherwise, after a few days, you have to just close it. You know, even buying a house, right? If you don't do your research, you don't do proper research, you buy the house, you can buy it expensive. By buying a house, you're risking. Why? Because that house could blow up tomorrow, right? Seriously, everything could fall off. That's it. You have to build the house again. That's why you go and get insurance for it, right? Now, insurance is not going to cover the house price. So you buy the house today. That's exactly what happened to us, uh, you know, for the next door when we bought it. We bought it for £120,000, for example. And then after two weeks, Golden Brown, he was removed from power. And then suddenly the market came down. We had market crash in 2008. And that house suddenly became £98,000. Not cheap, £120,000. came to £98,000. Literally £22,000 we lost on that one house. And it took, since 2008 to now, nearly 13 years, right? It took until now that house is now at that price now again. That's not you. That's even like my game. For example, in my game, uh, one of what we have, we have exactly like the same strategy. We have five minute charge and like one me, one week, one year, uh, five years stuff like that. Uh, one of my items right now is like ten pence. But mm -hmm. what happened? So this is the time for you to buy. But buy but, more of this. But what, ten pence, but ten what pence, happened? Ten pence, five years ago, it was worth a hundred pound. Yeah, yeah. So and now market crash is the time down. to buy, right? Now I didn't know this is stuff. I didn't have no education, right? Now the, the reason I'm saying I didn't have no education, I don't blame the market for losing money on that house, right? Why? Because I didn't know how to buy the house, how did how to get a discount, how to talk to the seller, how to you talk to the agent. I didn't know how, right how to check the house to make sure I'm buying the right thing. Because one week after I bought that 420, somebody bought the cross the road off that same house for 90. 
So he basically bought it thirty thousand on the price. And now after that, that, yeah, the six years after I bought the next door to that for nine thousand pounds. So I knew how to buy them. You know, that's that's the thing. You know, so knowledge is the key in the risk. Now each market has its own risk. Your game has risk, yeah. isn't it? Right. So you buy the game and the price can go down. Yeah. So you lose the money on there, right? Yeah. Or the other option is don't buy anything. Just yeah. put your money in the bank and don't do nothing with it, right? It just gets dust all over it. And then your money is not going to grow at all. Your money is just going to sit there. So the best way to achieve financial freedom is by investing it, to use your money to do something with it. Or if you run a business with it, you can go and run a business with it, but buy a business, start a business, restaurant or whatever. You need to uh, spend your time, a lot of time running a business. It takes a lot of time being self-employed or being a business owner. It's like so a yeah. Baby. Yeah, so you have to literally put your time in it as well, right? Yeah. But uh, uh, being an investor, you use your money in the market, you buy something, you buy share of somebody's uh, company, for example. Uh, we buy indices mostly. We never go and buy just Amazon, but I'm just giving you an example of because I can't give you financial advice here on this podcast. Uh, we go and buy, uh, you know, Amazon share, for example, and then Amazon owner, he's working really hard on his business. He's making business thrive, going higher and higher, and his share goes up and up. And because I have a part of that, my share goes up as well. That's one point of it, right? Also, we are in the you know, crypto market. We are inside the uh, gold market. We are inside oil market. Uh, we are also inside the property market. Now, same thing. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Even going out of the house, you're going to take a risk because you could walk out of that house and somebody hit you and you die, right? So risks are everywhere, right? Now, what can we do to reduce the risk? That's what we call risk management. By increase your learning, by study, by learn, learn. Make sure you are the master of the game you are entering. As Warren Buffett says, never ever invest in a market you don't know. This is for people who, they just go and download the app, they put someone inside, you know, they put some cash inside the market, press the button, they buy something. They don't even, I have somebody in my course and he said to me, okay, now I would buy, now I would buy. I said, no, no, you can't buy now. The market's going down. If you buy now, you're going to lose. He said, Ali, uh, just today I've been here, 90% of the time I was wrong. Probably that's why I lost 20,000 pounds going to market. Risk, yes, because he didn't have knowledge, right? So in the market, not just stock market, even in property, you risk some money, you go and buy for it. Let me give you an example of the property market, right? So you go and risk some money, 100,000 pound, you buy a property, maybe 30,000 pound cash, the rest maybe is a mortgage, right? You go and buy a property, you are risking because you don't know if this market is going to go up or it's going to go down, right? If you start going down for the next two two years, it's going to go down because we are in phase two. If you start to come up for the next five years, it's going to start coming up. Generally, in a hundred years term, all markets are going up, right? But it depends where you are buying it. You're buying in phase two or you're buying in phase one, right? This is very important knowledge. I didn't know this stuff on, until I attend all these investing courses, right? So uh, by buying that property, you're taking a risk. As soon as, same as me, I bought that property. As soon as I bought it two weeks after, when we done a valuation on it, it was literally lost 20,000 pounds already, already because the market, we had a market crash. Now. If I had the knowledge of knowing when to buy that and how to buy it and how to talk to the uh, seller, I could have bought it at the right price, right? Or maybe even a few weeks after I would have bought it, I could have, you know, buy it at the, at the cheaper price. I didn't know how to read the market. I didn't know how to analyze the market. That's why I went and I lost a lot of money in Bitcoin. Just going there, you know, I, I downloaded the app in 2009 and I put 3,000 pounds in a Bitcoin. And then, boom, all of them gone. The next day I woke up, my 2,700 pounds was 25 pence, right? Seriously. That's uh, my thing. Exactly. Like, la last night, my thing was five pounds, for example, it's gone down to two pence. That's what, that's now taking a risk. When you have no knowledge, you are gambling. I know I was gambling then, right? So that's why I decided to go and learn the knowledge. When you learn the knowledge, now I analyze the market. I know when to enter. I know how to manage my risk. And then I get out, right? And also I take much more higher risk because I know how to manage it. So, guys, please don't invest in a market you don't recognize or you don't understand it. Only invest in a market you understand and you understand how the market works. Please, before you start investing, definitely take education. The money you pay for your education is a saving. Don't just go on YouTube looking for free videos. Free video is going to be free information, never pays off, you know. So that's all I can say. Anyway, 
be careful investing is awesome it's going to make you to become financially free but you have to have the knowledge don't just go and download the app and start putting money in there risk means you are putting your money in there and then 50 uh, 50 is it going to win or is it going to uh, is it going to lose in any market it doesn't matter which market in any market but uh, as we spoke on the other video the property market is the lowest risk then you know we have more higher risk which is a crypto market right yeah. but it doesn't matter all of them are risk right you can just take a car and go for a drive without training that's risk right because you, you take it you, yeah you can right. crash right but what do you do when you want to go and take the car you learn you go and learn it you go to a drive instructor you learn it you get your license then you drive the car same thing why would you go and download the app and put your hard earned cash in the app and then uh, press a button and then lose all of it when you don't know when to enter and how to manage it yeah make sure you do learning before you start putting your real money in but trust me you need to start investing otherwise in next 10 years time everybody's going to be struggling i'm really worried about the future of everybody because i don't think anybody's going to be working why then with the amount of deficit the government has nobody's going to be working to pay for tax for nobody to be retired i am really worried about everybody's pension that's why i'm on the mission to help everybody to start investing for their own future do it for your own kids i done it for him right i even taught him all the skill so please do it for yourself i'm not saying to you come to my course just to start learning and start investing but please only do the learning before you start investing by learning you are increasing the chance of you winning don't just go and download the app and press the button that's all i can say to you thank you very much if you have any question reach out and uh, i'm glad to help you you know i'm, I'm here to help out yeah. you got anything to add we already no. over time but thank you very much everyone and i appreciate your time and i see you next week bye bye bye